Good evening and welcome to In the Paint with Christmas, just five days away. Ross and I are certainly in the holiday spirit. We even, right here, have our own Santa hats tonight. Folks, we're going to wear the Santa hats for the show. We're not really doing this, Ross are we? Ross looks better than I do, but look, we're in the holiday spirit, so. Ho, ho, ho. I like your hat. Looks good. Yours looks, is sparkly. My, I have to admit, my, mine is my daughter's, so <laughs> I took it from really her tonight. Head. It Not too well, so, but That's I took right. it from my daughter's. We so. got to get to video quick. <laughs> I'll tell you what, to go along with the Christmas theme, we'll tell you what teams have been naughty and pulled upsets, what teams have trying to keep their perfect seasons going. We did have several area teams enter the night with undefeated records, good stuff going on. We have the perfect game to start our show with that goes along with Christmas, that being the green of West Vigo against the red of Terre Haute South. The last two times these teams have met at South, both games have been close. Would that continue tonight? Let's head to the home of the Braves. Third quarter, Greg Newton hits the 10-footer for the Braves. Good sequence here for South Timmy here, and boy, is he become a player this year. He scores on the layup. Then watch this, Ross. Sal pressing here and uses that 6-6 six, six frame to get the steal and the hoop. Not bad. Timmy, four points in less than five seconds. You have the big man running the point on the press. That's <laughs> nice. Heron had 13. Brayton Cardinal hits a transition jumper. He had 15 for the bikes. The Minette brothers were awesome tonight for South. That is Trey Minette with the runner. He had 12. Little brother Jalen led South with 14. Braves win big. 74-46, it's South's fifth straight win over West Vigo. Terre Haute North was looking to snap a two-game losing streak. The Patriots hosted Mooresville. Braxton Poor gets the good guys off to a nice start with the three. Mooresville has a really good player. I like him, Jacob Johnson. Look at the 6'7", big man get the loose ball and attack the rim. Hello, he Ooh. throws it down with two hands. He's committed to play at Indiana Wesleyan. Charlie Imany with that quick release, nails a three right and the defender's grail. North a five point first quarter lead. Mooresville has picked up a transfer from Avon named Carter. Van Wanzil kick and stroke it, three of his game high, 24 points. Mooresville wins 74-44. Pioneers pick up their first regular season win at Terre Haute North since 1998. Back to you, Ross. Well, let's stick with the Christmas theme down in <laughs> Class 2A. Fifth ranked Sullivan has become a Grinch when it comes to their matchup versus their county rival. That's North Central. The Golden Arrows have won four straight against the T-Birds. Sullivan hosting North Central once again tonight. I think that kid right there stole my hat. What's with that? Love the Christmas spirit. <laughs> oh, no, his fit. Yours yep. is a fit very well. Love the move here. Max Gregory leaves it nicely for Ian Perkinson. Two of his game high, 17. Arrows off to the races. Check out this move off the steal. Luke McPhail spins off the glass. Showtime on that shot. Sullivan has great size, and they're showing it off right here. Missed shot. Michael Hutchcraft pulls down the board, backs it out. No one goes with him, so he calmly knocks down the mid-range. Jay Perkinson, the benefactor of another great feed. This time, it's from the holiday man himself. Peyton Santa Claus makes it easy for the big fella. Boy, and Sullivan Ross pulling these out tonight. Dominant folks. tonight. They beat North Central 77 to 26. Tuesday, Union snapped their 31-game losing streak tonight, looking to start a winning streak against Eastern Green. But it was the T-Birds out and running first. Brian Martindale down the lane to the rim for the finger roll. These T-Birds play really hard. Not many schools, though, have an answer for Union big man Austin Robertson. Throw it up to the big fella. He converts inside. Robertson listed at 6'7". Every bit of that. Another good seal, good finish in traffic. He Can't had the Bulldogs size. within a point early. He, size. It's going to be interesting when Union closes where he goes. He's a stud. Then it's Trevor Yoho stepping out into the short corner, knocking down the J. Eastern Green stretches it out from there. They win 60-39. to The young T-Birds move to 5-0 on the year. So both Eastern Green and Sullivan pick up wins come March. That Class 2A sectional 47 going to be very competitive. When we come back, we'll make stops at Clay City, Linton, Edgewood, North Vermillion, and Rockville. Stay with us.